Hello, welcome to part two of the retinoscopy. Today we are going to learn how to neutralize the astigmatism through a spherocylindrical method. The basic rule of retinoscopy will remain the same. The room has to be dim illuminated and the steps what we follow in the retinoscopy will be following the same as we are going to neutralize the astigmatism of our eye. I'm going to use it for the right eye only. But another thing what I wanted you to understand is the mirror effect. The, right now what you are seeing the sleeves down, it will give a plain mirror effect. The moment you put this up, it will be a concave mirror effect. So I am going to perform this test using the plain mirror effects. Let's see what we are getting on her eyes. So friends, what I can see is the glow in two different meridians, but the glow is not coincided with the strict of my retinoscope so I am going to make it uh, parallel to it so at 135 I can see against movement and at 45 I can see with movement so friends for 45 I am going to use the plus spherical lenses and 135 I will be using the minus cylindrical lenses to neutralize them Still I can see with moment, so I am going to change or increase this lens. Now I can see a neutral glow, to me it has neutralized. But still I am going to confirm this by putting some more power, I am going to put 0.75. Now I can see against moment and if I put this in the concave mirror so I can see it's with movement I think this 0.5 is the neutral point for this meridian so now it's time for me to neutralize the 135 for 135 I am going to use minus lenses because it is against movement to me So I still can see some more movement so I'll keep on increasing the power of the cylinder till the time it's not getting neutral So friends, with minus 1.5 cylinder, it is appearing a neutral glow to me. But I am going to confirm this by increasing this power further to 1.75 and see whether against movement has is becoming with or not. So now this is with movement. So it's confirmed that earlier lens was the better lens. Earlier was the neutral lens. So minus 1.5 is the neutral point for this side finally we have neutralized the eye and what i have got is plus 0.5 as a sphere and 1.50 cylinder at 135 so to get the net value we have to deduct our working distance my working distance compensation is 1.5 so the value the net value will come as minus 1 because we have to subtract only through the spherical component not the cylinder so overall power will be minus one sphere with minus 1.5 cylinder at 135 this will be the retinoscopy value for the right eye of the patient so this is how we have to neutralize the cylindrical component using the spherocylinder i hope it was clear and informative to you 
प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल इफ यू हैव नॉट डन सो फार थैंक यू बाय बाय सी यू अगेन एट द नेक्स्ट वीडियो